I would like to address that robots are making a part of our everyday lives. It is interesting to state that in a recent Robot Magazine article written by Atwood, he has stated that in a cultural perspective, Americans may view robots more like a horror movie or your enemies, like in a 1980 film Terminator, of which robots have been so complex to the point they start to enslave the human race. Or it could be like the Eastern culture, like in Japan, when they viewed robots like their friends even before electricity even existed, such as their old timer love and karakiri dolls. But regardless of where a robot is trying to either take over the world or serve a cup of tea, they all have one thing in common the human body's digestive system, respiration system, etc., is all controlled by a brain and a robot. Some sort of artificial mind has to be just like a human brain in order to control and make a robot to make decisions. This artificial brain is called artificial intelligence. Today, I'll give you an introductory to artificial intelligence telling about four different types of methods in two different main categories, the standard-based methods and the evolutionary-based algorithms. Though you not, may not be able to take over the world with these algorithms, you can at least have a start with it. Alright, the first type of artificial intelligence method I like to talk about is in the standard decision realm, which means that you already have the predefined knowledge to know how to make your next decision. The first method I like to talk about is tree-based methods. In tree-based methods, you have a tree-like structure that will help to make decisions. I'll give an example to clarify this. For example, if you're trying to make a flight from Portland to New York City. You can either fly from Portland, from top of the tree, go directly to New York City. Or maybe it's a connecting flight, like Portland to Washington, D.C. to New York City. Or maybe it could be a really long connecting flight, like Portland to Washington, D.C. to Boston to New York City. Therefore, you have this network of how to get from one destination to the next. With this information in mind, you can then figure out questions and actually answer questions based on this diagram you have made, such as, which has the shortest amount of connections from Portland to New York. The next method I like to talk about is the rule-based method. And the rule-based method is just the same as consulting an encyclopedia. You all know that an encyclopedia is like the array of information containing all sorts of general facts and data on various amount of subjects. For example, we want to give a robot to identify an animal that has birth that is wings it flies and it has feathers. According to a dictionary de definition, you all should know that this animal should be a bird. And this is how the rule-based system works, just by consulting a dictionary-like application in a robot's memory. Now I have to explain about the two algorithms that require predefined knowledge, but sometimes there are methods that don't exactly, you don't exactly have the facts from the beginning and you have to make the robot learn new things. The next two algorithms we'll discuss just about that. The first I'll like to talk about is the genetic algorithm. The genetic algorithm is based off of the Darwin's theory of natural selection. The basic sums of natural selection is which where organisms try to thrive in the nature, and then the ones with the trait to help to survive in the wild will move on to the next generation and pass on their offsprings. In the robot situation, these organisms are instead just actions that the robot could take and the environmental factor could be where the action succeeds or not. In this case, let's take an example of a robot with two legs that is trying to walk. You can't just say, you can't just tell the robot to just walk. You actually have to state functions like moving your leg 90 degrees forward, moving your ankle 90 degrees down, and then step down. Therefore, by these predefined functions, the robot will therefore process these instructions and see whether it's successful or not. And Obviously, if the robot falls over, those set of instructions are just thrown out. The last method I'd like to talk about is the neural network method. The neural network method is, you know that in a human brain, it consists of these tiny units called neurons. These neurons form connections with each other to help you learn new facts and information, as well as to remember things. In a robot situation, these neurons can all be digitized, and even the links between the neurons can all be digitized with numbers. Let's take the example of a robot trying to learn math. For example, you give a robot 2 plus 2. If it gives out the answer 4, you know that the robot has a correct set of mindset and there's no need to change its set of neurons because it's already giving out the correct answer. But suppose if the robot somehow gives, let's say, 2 plus 2 equals 5, which you all know is incorrect, 
you would know that something is very wrong with the robot and therefore it has to change its own neural configuration in order to make sure that next time you give it the same problem, it will at least be more accurate. I've discussed about the four different artificial intelligence method, regardless of whether it has predefined knowledge or not. The four that I've covered are the tree-based search algorithms, the rule-based algorithms, the genetic algorithm, and the neural network. Regardless of if it has predefined knowledge or not, these methods will help the robot to make their own decisions of what course of actions to take. Regardless of where a robot could be smart enough, it is up to the robot scientists of nowadays to develop a mind that will hopefully one day maybe it could be as strong that it could compare to exactly like a human mind. Thank you for listening and hopefully one day you'll succeed to that point, but hopefully we'll also be careful to not make a robot enslave our human race. <laughs>